Hey there guys and welcome back to NIMBY Rails. I've had a special request to go through how to download, install and add mods to a game. So that's what I'm going to quickly cover today, just a couple of minutes. The first step is to go to the Steam Workshop. Well, you can just do that through the app or when you're creating a game it does have a link for subscribe to new mods which takes you to the in-game browser. I'm going to use the actual app because I prefer it. So I've uninstalled from all of my mods in preparation for this. You can just browse items in here. I'm going to select trains. The other type of mod is translation. I've not tried those. I assume they just translate the game. So for example, say I want the class 334. It's a new mod that came out a couple of days ago, I think. So I just select it, click subscribe, and then that's downloads to my computer and I can add it to my game. The other thing I can do and is very helpful for me is I have a collection of mods. My collection is all of the mods that I use in my save game. It's linked in the description of all of my Nimby Rails videos. So you can easily find it. Here we go. And I can just click subscribe to all here and it will install everything in this collection. The next step is to head into the game. You can create a new game and we just call it test for example. This is where you turn on unlimited money and then you just go into the mods tab and you can activate individual mods or enable all installed. I'm just going to activate a couple for now and then we can click start game. Now that we're in the game you can see we've got the default trains and then also the two mods are activated, the 334 and the 390. What we can do from here is use the mods button up in the top right and it lists all the mods we're subscribed to and have active with a tick and the ones we're subscribed to and don't have active don't have a tick. I can select an individual mod, say the 142 and click enable and it will turn that one on and you can see it will add it to the list over here or I can just click enable all installed it adds all of them to the game and adds them all to the list and takes a bit of time loading the textures in. You can see there's a, a limit of how many train textures you can have loaded, so I guess you just have to be careful not to hit that. And the thing to be wary of is that some mods add more than one texture, for example, the Bombardier Electrostar adds all of the 357, 375, 376, 377, 378, 379 and 387 in one mod. Which saves subscribing to a lot, but it means that there's a lot of textures in the single mod, so you can't just count the number of mods you have installed. That's basically all there is to it. Once you've enabled the mod, you can select it in the train list as you would for any other train and use it on a route. Some of them, especially the more recent ones, have modifiable lengths, so you can say want a 6 car 334, or I can make my Pendolino anything from 8 to 11 cars. Others are just the standard 1 car 139 or 1 car 153. So. That's basically all there is to it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.